Hi there, this is gonna be a general love reading for all signs. And earlier today on my Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, I unboxed my Hocus Pocus tarot deck. I just got it in the mail while I was away and I came home and there it was. So I was not thrilled with the second Hocus Pocus. I know I talked about it several times and I told everyone how I love the first one so much, seen it a million times. Anytime it's on TV, I always want to watch it. Put the second one on and couldn't even get halfway through. Just, it couldn't hold my attention. I heard that the ending was amazing and beautiful and super emotional and everybody cried, but I didn't get there. So I was not loving the Hocus Pocus 2 so far. I will try to give it another chance and, you know, rewatch it again um and see how i feel but i really think that it was a bad choice by them picking this uh, the way they wrote it i really feel like a lot of us would have really loved it immediately had it been sort of like a continuation of the story of their children you know like it's it's max and so and so's you know kid that lights the can black flame candle you know what i mean like i don't know i just wasn't loving it sorry the the cards are extremely new and so they're a bit sticky and stuck and clunky, the type of material that they are. If you guys have this deck, you know what I mean. They're kind of like matte and like, I don't know. Hold on. It didn't take this long to get a card on Instagram. And so I'm feeling that's probably part of the message. Wow. You have the X of potions, 10 of potions, five of candles, and the two of candles <clears throat> someone here has a choice they have a lot of different options hence the ten of potions the ten of potions is sort of you know what this feels like immediately did you put a spell on me and you guys know the saying honey I am the spell. It feels like someone saying, did you put a spell on me? Why am I feeling sort of entranced and enamored and in love and, and sort of um, like into you? Someone here is really into you. They feel almost hypnotized. There's this sense, an aura of magic. You might be finding that you walk into a room and all of a sudden people just like look at you, whether you're in the grocery store, at work, or, or you're at fucking Costco's, right? And you're like at the post office and you're like, I just don't understand what's going on. It's like this weird energy, like what the fuck? But for some of you, you're sort of like your light from within is sort of shining. And as within, so without. So people are mesmerized by you. They feel almost like they're drunk off of your energy. They are sort of mm, under a spell, if you will, right? Um, the Five of Candles, there's some sort of change that's coming. Big changes. I saw the word union in my fucking head. Union. Okay, um, is that where we're going with that spirit? Union, huh? Something flipped. Oh my, the nine of lighting. Oh, doesn't it just look like that moment in the movie when everything just starts happening, like lightning strikes and you hear all of the animals scatter and it's like this sort of sudden, unexpected, shocking moment that it happens, you know? And it's like, the moment of truth or, or this moment of falling in love or this moment of X marks the spot of meeting each other. There's this sense of dun, dun, dun. And like, there it is. And, and it's like lightning is sudden and lightning is unexpected and you never know where lightning is going to strike next, right? It's very unpredictable. And so to have nine, you know, sort of bolts of lightning hitting all at once, is sort of you know a rare phenomenon but it also is about it's it's so obvious it's like if lightning hits all in the same spot it's quite obvious of what this is so there's this feeling here of sort of attracting all this energy it's sudden and and, and you know a huge change but also something is made really obvious you know mercury has gone direct and when Mercury goes retro, it's sort of about, you know, fixing things and reevaluating things, but it can be confusing. And so now Mercury has gone direct. There's a lot of clarity for people. 
So some of you might be seeing something very differently. Seeing it for what it really is, you know, maybe someone sees you, they go, oh my God, that's the love of my fucking life. What was I thinking? What was I doing? Ten of candles. I'm only going to take that one on the top. The ten of candles. You see how it looks like a closed window and inside the window, you see all these floating candles. It's almost like this door or this window, a portal, if you will, that hasn't been opened yet. It's like the arrival of it and you're staring at it and you're looking and it's sort of like, do I open the window? Do I step through? It's this threshold. You've, 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 you, you're at this threshold, this line of, do I open this up and enter into this new relationship? Do I open this up and enter into this new phase of my life? What do I do? But it's like, you're staring at this like new beginning, this new opening, this new portal. And, and it can be very scary, right, for some, the new. And what's new here is I feel like somebody woke up in love. Like, you know, it's the whole, I've been telling that for years. They wake up and they're in love with you. It's like when you dream of someone and you, when you wake up and you're still kind of in love with them, but then it goes away. And imagine like it doesn't go away. Like you wake up in love with them and it's just, you still constantly feel that. And it's not like a creepy one-sided stalkerish kind of a love either. You have worth waiting for divine time timing is at work in your love life codependency many of you have worked through codependent behavior no longer clinging on to people you're fine being alone you find power in being alone you love your own company that's how much you love yourself many of you have found that in the past you didn't want to be alone you feared it you felt being alone meant that you were rejected, that you weren't good enough, that no one wanted you. But what you have found is that, you know, being alone it gives you this power. I am alone because I choose to be. You have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So I don't know, man. It seems like you put a spell on these motherfuckers, huh? It seems like when you walk into a room, you're just like, something's weird. Like I walk into the room, they're like all staring at me. And it's like, it's not weird. They really are staring at you. Two of Swords. There's some sort of decision here. Maybe the prospect of being in a relationship for some of you. Union. Didn't I say that earlier? I saw the word union. And that's union. 1111. Four of Wands. Union. Afraid to see it. Some of you, it's the elephant in the room. It's someone that you already know. Someone that you've already been entertaining. And it's like... Everyone else sees it but you or them. Temperance here. Sagittarius. Patience. And then the King of Swords, which is emotionally detached. It's like someone here held back for a long time. Either held back their feelings and emotions or they sat back and watched you live your life. Maybe they were a friend. Maybe they were someone that... I don't know, maybe you don't even know them. They just know you. And it's like they sort of sat back and watched. They were very patient. It's like a patience here. And then all of a sudden that patience turns into like, I need it now, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is waiting. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. It's here. Nine of Pentacles, single, the top pick of the litter. Like you are the one that they all want and you just don't understand what the fuck happened. Three of Wands, waiting. This is the hangman waiting again, a pause. It's like they're all waiting to see what you choose. They're all waiting to be chosen by you. Isn't that fucking crazy? Five of Wands, competition. There's all this competition swirling around you. They all want you. Whether this is jobs, they're all fighting for you. Whether this is lovers. Six of Pentacles, they all want to give to you. They all want to offer something. They all want to like give you a piece of what they have to offer. Oh, we have something to offer you. Hey, choose us. Oh, it's literally like they're all under a spell. Five of Pentacles, walking away, feeling left out and abandoned. And then the moon, right? Which is Pisces energy. But the moon is secret emotions it's hidden 
the moon is what you don't see coming. Many of you recently separated from a person or a thing, and what you didn't see coming is that ending, which you thought was brutal or heartbreaking in the moment, brought all this new shit in, and you just didn't see that in the moment. This is also you healing that codependent energy from earlier as well. The moon is secret. You don't see this coming. This shift. It's almost hypnotic. The moon is like mesmerizing and it's hypnotic and it's like sort of illusions. And you're almost like, are these people drunk? What the fuck? Why is everyone treating me this way? They, they're all treating you as if they're in love with you. Which is really crazy because it's collective. I felt that energy. I'm experiencing that. And I know many of you guys are too. It's almost like something's weird. And it's like, what? It's like they're all in love or something's weird. Is it weird? The rabbits, new beginnings. Sex and procreation and desire. A sudden increase. Some of you, it's a sudden increase in, in interest. But they all desire you as well too. The devil, this is Capricorn, that could be obsession. And then the butterfly, which is about change and metamorphosis, right? Sort of like you've shifted and changed and all of a sudden like your, your reality is sort of shifting and changing as well. As within, so without. You have the bouquet, gifts, reconciliation, love, the yarn. It's, it's a conundrum, right? The yarn is, the yarn is like puzzling. It's complicated and then the grasshopper grasshopper is beautiful because it's luck it's a leap of faith it's prosperity right it can also be moving on and birth of a son some of you were you moved on right from this from something that wasn't fulfilling maybe some of you moved on from the fact that you were not chosen that you were overlooked that you were sort of hurt and now all of a sudden look at you look at me now oh look at me now uh helpful people someone's gonna help you in the near future one more before we get into your extended peaceful resolution something just works itself out so if you want to rent this extended click that upside down triangle below it's going to bring up the description page here on youtube first link will be to my website saltwaterhealstarot.com this will be in the special love slash oracle reading section on my website um, second link below is my Patreon link. If you love erotic tarot readings, um, which I'm going to be using the dirty deck in this extended, I do them on Patreon as well as all types of exclusive content on Patreon. I think it's like over 40 or 50 readings there to watch on Patreon. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of specials running right now that I'm almost completely booked. So you want to book it now before I stop accepting sessions. And then I don't know how long that's going to take. That's why for me to clear them out to be able to accept more. So if you don't want to wait, go ahead and check it out. I have several different specials. Of course, per usual, I'm doing emergency sessions, $200 for 30 minutes, live phone call. But I have all these other specials going on as well, okay? Um, Lilith bracelets will be mailed out within the next few weeks. I have to wait for some of the materials to come in. Peacock bracelet will also be mailed in the next few weeks. Uh, my two magic moon waters will be mailed out in the next couple of weeks as well. And X marks the spot. It's not ready yet. That one's not even close to being ready yet. So that one is later. These are your cards for your extended. All right, you guys. So thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Thank you to everybody who sends me um, donations via PayPal. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for keeping me afloat here. And you know, I'm a YouTuber. I'm This is what I do for a living, you know? So I appreciate all of your support, okay? Love you guys. See you in the extended. Bye.